Many people say that sharks are not really dangerous, but to get the truth, ask a man of the sea. I'm a commercial fisherman and a diver. On July 14th, 1954, I was in the water in the Catalina Channel. Two big blue sharks attacked me. Here are the scars. No one can tell me sharks aren't man eaters. Thank you, Frank Donahue. Well, those were words of truth from a man who makes his living in the water. Sharks have always been a dangerous threat to man, so when men go out of their way to help sharks, it makes an interesting story. Now, Robert Eastman of Atlanta, Georgia, thought so, and that's why he sent this request. He says, sharks are nomads of the sea. They swim constantly from the day they're born till the day they die. They range over hundreds of miles of ocean in a constant search for food. Sharks have to keep moving in order to extract enough oxygen from the water to breathe. If they remain motionless, they will drown. May we see the shark walkers of Miami Seaquarium at work. These men actually keep newly captured sharks alive by walking them. How about it? Well, Robert Eastman, you're absolutely correct. These shark walkers keep big man-eaters alive by keeping them moving. So let's go across the country from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic. You asked for it. On the Atlantic, just outside Miami, are you asked for cameras aboard the Sea Coast, the craft specially fitted for bringing them back alive. And we're speaking, of course, of monsters of the deep. In this case, deadly man-eating sharks. The sea cold is being towed into port by the mother ship, the seahorse, because the day's fishing has already been successful. A huge, vicious tiger shark over 10 feet in length has been pulled up to the side of the barge. For most fishermen, bringing a huge specimen like this to Gap is the end of the struggle. But for the men of the Sequarium, the drama has only begun. The killer has been caught, but now the struggle begins to keep the killer alive. Exhausted by his struggle against the hook, the shark has moved into an opening on the boat's side. Once the captive is safe inside the well built into the deck, the hook is removed by Captain William B. Gray, a man wise in the ways of marine life. In port, a watertight wooden box lifts the specimen into the special walking pool, where a young man with one of the world's most unusual professions takes over. Some people are truck drivers, some people are babysitters, some people are street cleaners. But this is Woody Woodford, occupation, shark walker. It's little wonder that people come from miles around to watch Woodford at his strange profession. And even though it seems simple enough, everyone is aware that the trick is to know when the shark has regained his strength. Because even in captivity, he's still a killer by instinct. First signs of revival, the specimen is moved through an opening into the main tank, where he swims away without help. And why doesn't the killer attack these porpoises and other denizens of the deep he'll now share a home with? Well, because strange and perverse creature that he is, he refuses to feed in captivity. And now that man has taken the trouble to keep him alive, man will also have to force feed him as long as he survives. The story of the shark walker, truly unique. And Robert Eastman, we're glad you asked for it.